Do you know many of us grew up with this wall unit in our homes? Let me show you how we've turned ours or my parents into something elegant using decoupage and some painting, making it and breathing new life to it. Keep watching. My name is Judith Migwe and on this channel I always share with you my DIY home decor tips as well as my life hacks. And I'm so excited because as part of this parent makeover, we managed to make over this wall unit. It's been with us for many years and sometimes especially when you do a house on you the expenses sometimes are more sometimes something is sentimental so you want to keep it or you want to keep the cost down and I was excited to do these different techniques on this wall unit so keep watching and see how we made it look lovely and give it new life for the wall unit we will need the nuclear gloss which will be for the final finish we will have the sanding sealer that we will use the thinner to thin it as we clean uh, to seal in the wood we will also need our gray paint that we will use using the paint brushes and different hardware different handles and for the final finish we will need this P0 sanding paper to smoothen out everything. And for the wall unit decoupage, we will need Mod Podge and the fabric and the sponge to put the Mod Podge paste on the wall unit or the hatch. And because these have been used over time, remember we are redoing for sentimental use we will need filler because we have lots of places to fill and smoothen out before doing the work. This wall unit, we're changing it. Remember it has the bottom and the bottom and the top part. So the bottom part we are removing one end. So Hanning is here, he's helping me. We're cutting it and putting, removing the legs so that it goes a little lower so that it fits nicely in the room among other things so he's going to add a block board on this side so that it is the same length with the other side and after that now we'll take over doing the sanding the ceiling and everything else after he has done that modification for us because we don't have too much time as part of this diy home deco makeover for my parents home we have lots, all of this furniture to make over. And because of the time constraint, I have John and Mutugi helping me do the sandpaper and then I take over doing everything else. After sanding this whole wall unit or hatch, remember it has a top and bottom part. We're going to separate them when we're working. And one of the things we're going to do is remove these doors and look out for the video. We'll be using these doors for an outdoor decor for the, for the garden area or for the house. So we won't be wasting them, but we're going to remove this and we've already removed the hardware. As you can see, uh, all the hardware is gone because we'll put different ones and we have cut off this part of the wall unit or the hatch. Uh, and we've added board so that we try match it to this other side and we'll also remove this divider because this is not going to be a storage unit as before it's going to be more of a decorative unit and then we'll come back to you we'll do the same process on this one as we'll do on this one the only thing is that we'll come back to this top piece when we are doing the decoupage on the inside and i'll show you how we'll do that to make it bright to make it a little modern yet keeping it sentimental and the rest of it will go along with you along the way 
we have sanded the wall unit and remember we have separated the pieces so what we're doing to this we're doing to the top and we're going to use the sanding sealer all over this it's going to seal this um, the wood and protect it and because over time it has gotten some stains it will help us when we're doing a fine sanding after so we're just going to just do a layer of sanding sealer along the grain and we're doing this even for the drawers and on the inside because it's also cleaning for us After putting the sanding sealer, now we are using the P80 sanding paper to sand down and smoothen out. And whatever is for us is doing the filling so that when we smooth it out, the cuckoo doesn't want me to speak, so that when we smooth it out, it has a noun, a nice finish when we are painting. just about to paint our wall unit or our hatch a gray and we'll just do one thick uh, gray coating and if it does a nice full coverage we will not need to do a second layer so that we go to the next color that is our teal that will use look to give this vintage wall unit a nice look not vintage really but Just do a layer along the grain. Now we have finished putting the two coats of the grey. We're now going to do a fine sanding once more with the P0, which is the very finest, to just give that uh, fine smoothness especially because of the places that had filler and then after that we go to the teal color and you're not doing too much to remove the paint just to smoothen the surface After that light sanding, we're now going to pick our paint, our blue paint, and do one light coat and a second one. And this is fast dry. And because it's already smooth and ready for painting, it will be nice and smooth. After our two coats and one had the one was the NC paint with the clear wax so that it can have a nice finish. Our, as you can see from the back, our wall unit is almost ready. Now we are working on the top bit, this open space that we removed the glass doors, and here is where we do our decoupage, and that is where we use glue paste. And in our case, we're using Mod Podge to glue fabric on the wood so that it looks like it has always been there. We've, we have several other decoupage arts that we've done before. So check the card above and maybe pick one of those for your next project. Right, so let's keep watching as we do this. So we are using our fabric, as I showed you earlier, and our mod podge blue paste with a brush and so what we're doing is we've already cut out the fabric to fit our wall unit part of it so we're going to to glue it going one direction and then we do the sides 
uh, won't be able to show you the whole process because it takes a lot of time and I know you don't want to be here just watching me doing just gluing so I'll start and then I'll show you in fact at the end we will be showing you the final product because after this it's all done so after I do this I show you the final product so we just gluing instead of gluing the fabric because it's not paper it's easier to glue the surface using the mod podge so I'm going to do this and I like how it dries because once it dries the fabric itself is also tough and it can be dusted or, uh, or wiped clean I also like it because it doesn't dry too fast so you have a chance to reposition and because this is the beginning the beginning part and we want it to be neat we're going to just have a, a very slight fold that is like a hem and I just place it down I'll let it dry a bit and then I'll tuck it in because I think that will be easier because this is not lying down it's a little vertical so I'll just let it lie down or tuck in and then I'll reposition by tuck it in, tucking it in so I'll keep doing this all the way to the whole area and then I'll show you the final piece as you can see it has really turned out well and bright inside give it new color you wouldn't even tell it's the same piece is it something you would do for yourself or for your parents please comment below and what do you think about it god bless you barakatele keep watching because we are going to have this as part of the reveal for the whole parents house makeover god bless you until next time